You are in the rant wormhole where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for Copilot Coco who says, Rant about how this decade of anime, 2010 to 2019, is shaping up in comparison to other decades. 2019 still has more in store, but are the things being hyped up actually going to pull the decade forward in terms of quality? I think this decade was fucking fantastic, at least at the beginning. Um... I would even, I think more than half of, like, my top ten favorite anime came out this decade. Um, particularly, like, 2012 through 2014. Really, 2011 through 2014. Even 2010. Great fucking time. Because, like, you know, if you go back to, say, the 60s or 70s, there just wasn't that much anime coming out. And most of it was, like, either 50-episode shows that, you know, that ran for a whole year. You had your World Masterpiece Theater and your robot shows and your kids' shows and the occasional, like, shoujo manga adaptation or, uh, you know, a uh, show by Osamu Dezaki or something. Then you get into the 80s, and um, that was when you started getting a lot more of, like, the OVAs, um, the, the, the shonen manga adaptations, the, you know more of the stuff that we kind of know today, the rom-coms and shit, like, long runners. Uh, and then the 90s, it's, it's exploding more and more. Like, a lot of the stuff that would have been OVAs in the 80s is now, like, an actual TV series. You've got, like, the the rise of, like, the 26-episode show as opposed to the 50-episode show, uh, in, you know, uh, happening more and more. And, uh, and then, you know, post-Ava is where we get into the really experimental shit, late-night anime, the proliferation of 13-episode shows, um, and, uh, and then going into the 2000s, we just keep getting more and more shows per season. So, ever since the 2010s began, there's just been, like, the most anime ever. Like, this decade is insanely saturated, and while it might not be that, on average, anime is necessarily better than it was before, like, just throw enough darts at a board and you're gonna hit more bullseyes than you would have with fewer darts, you know? Like, uh, there's just tons of great anime that's come out in this decade. And, um, you know, uh, there was a, a lot of tumult in the way that certain studios had to shut down and a lot of new ones opened. There was a lot of restructuring of different elements of the industry, you know, different uh, payment models and paradigms arising. And I, I definitely think that the second half of this decade has seen a lot more growing pains. It's been a lot more of, um, you know, all this shifting causing anime to change and there hasn't been the ability for as as many just, like, great shows to come out. It has to be more either gimmicky or created for a more esoteric purpose or with a different, like, sales model than just make good shows sell Blu-ray, you know? But, um, God, the lineup of 2010 through 2014, like, I'm thinking about my favorite shows. So, like, k -On Season 2 came out in 2010. Um, you've got 2011 had, like, Madoka, Steins Gate, uh... Fate Zero, fucking 2012 has, uh, I think Psychopath started that year, um, you know, 24, uh, throughout 2011 to 2014, you had the Hunter Hunter, uh, redo, you have Shiro Bako in 2014, you have fucking Kill Lock Kill from 2013, 2014, Log Horizon from those years, uh, just uh, Ping Pong, you know, this insane wealth of phenomenal shows. And I could, I could go on, you know, about all the all the good shows. Those are just the ones that are, like, in my top ten, you know? So, yeah, I think this has been a, a phenomenal decade, even if the second half of it has been more transitional and more difficult. Um, I think 2019 is shaping up... It's definitely shaping up to possibly surpass 2018 at the very least. Like, I... I personally thought that the last few years were shaky. There wasn't as many favorites. There wasn't as much, like, high-quality animation. We saw a lot of shows that, even if they were good, were more lacking on the production front than I would have expected from a good show in a prior decade or from earlier this decade. But um, I think that that's going to turn around. I, I think we might be entering the upswing as more things are getting figured out. And, like... 
I'm excited about, for instance, all these Netflix originals that are coming out that tend to have more fucking care put into them, whether a lot of them have been shaky on the script department, and that's unfortunate, but, like, we're getting great-looking shows again, at least on that front, and I hope that, um, you know... This year, we've got a new fucking Shinichiro Watanabe show coming out. We've got a new Kunihiko Ikuhara show coming out. We've got, uh, you know, a lot of big names and big studios putting out things that are worth being excited for, even, you know, if it remains to be seen if they turn out to be actually good. So, I've got hopes for 2019, and, uh, yeah, I would say pretty okay decade.